One of the most honored and vital units in the U.S. military is battling an enemy within. For the first time, Navy SEALs are talking to us about drug abuse in the ranks. And David Martin is investigating this. I'm sitting in this chair because I'm not proud anymore to be in the community because of the direction it's going. These three Navy SEALs, one active duty, two retired, agreed to talk to us on camera if we disguise their faces and change their voices to protect them from retribution. People that we know of, that we hear about, have tested positive for cocaine, methamphetamine, heroin, marijuana, ecstasy. That's a problem. How prevalent is drug abuse in the SEAL teams? It's growing. The drug use, it's growing. Last December, as this email shows, the SEALs halted all training and ordered a safety stand down because of the drug problem. I feel like I'm watching our foundation, our culture, erode in front of my eyes. Captain Jamie Sands, commander of the 900 SEALs based on the East Coast, had been on the job for just three months, and already five SEALs had been kicked off the teams for using drugs. I feel betrayed. How do you do that to us? How do you decide that it's okay for you to do drugs? Every SEAL under his command was required to attend this meeting or else watch it online. In response to our request, the Navy released an edited version of the video. Before Sands spoke, his chief of staff rattled off what he called a staggering number of drug cases, which he said showed that the Navy's special operators had a higher incidence of drug use than the rest of the fleet. It's a population that's supposed to be elite performers, all with classifications, to where they have national security information and responsibilities. That's dangerous to my teammates. If we need your ability, I don't need to be in the back of my mind thinking that, okay, can I really trust this guy? Is he 100% going to cover my back? Admiral Timothy Szymanski, head of the Naval Special Warfare Command, agrees, telling CBS News in a statement, Anything above zero represents a disturbing trend for this elite force. So why do SEALs take drugs? You might think it was due to the stress of high-risk operations, but that's not what Sands said. I think it's okay because they've seen other people do it. They think their teammates won't turn them in. They think it's kind of a cool thing to do, but they think it's okay. A SEAL who blows the whistle on drug use does so at his own peril. You stand up for what's right and you get blackballed or driven out. It's a career killer. Like the rest of the military, SEALs are supposed to be subjected to random urinalysis. But in practice, they aren't tested when they are away from their home base, which is much of the time because their skills are in constant demand. Three active duty SEALs told us they had not been tested in years. Sands vowed to change that. We're going to test on the road. We're going to test on deployment. If you do drugs, if you decide to be that selfish individual, which I don't think anyone's going to do after today, I believe that, then you will be caught. Commodore Jamie Sands called an all-hands meeting referencing drug problem in Group 2. Sounds like he's, he's dealing with it. Well, I think it has gotten to a point where he had to deal with it. I hope he's somebody that we can rally behind and hold people accountable, but I'm not sure at this point. It's because it's hugely important. As part of the safety stand down, all SEALs were required to submit to urinalysis. One SEAL who had tested positive for cocaine last summer tested positive again, this time for prescription drugs. He is being kicked off the teams. Scott, after speaking by phone with one of the SEALs who attended that meeting, I asked if we could talk again, which would require using a cell phone that could not be traced. He said, sure, and then he added, we need help. David Martin breaking the story for us right here tonight. David, thank you.